Today we have an art project that we're going to do. In history, what did we learn? Who did we learn about? Um, John Cabot. And what did he find that he didn't think was awesome, but other people did? He wasn't a, a, no something in the water. Fish. Fish. He found a lot of fish, and he didn't think much about it because he had always had fish. But, yeah, fish. fish. But other people thought how many there were was pretty impressive. So our art project today is going to be something to do with. Fish. We're going to paint a fish. So I want you to take this white crayon. We have our watercolor paper. We have a white crayon. We have our watercolors ready and our water and paintbrush ready. So you're going to draw a big fish. Uh, how do I? Well, I don't um, know how to draw. I'll you know, do your very best. Um. Push pretty hard. Pushing pretty hard with our white crayon to make a big fish. Mm. You can do more than one fish if you want to, I suppose. I'm sure I do one. Okay. Um, and... Oh, that's not good. Okay. We're going to pause while she finishes drawing her fish. All right, Penny has finished drawing her fish now. Now I want you to take the water and I want you to kind of brush water all over the paper. The, Make the, the paper, paper wet, but don't scrub it. Just get water all over the paper. Like all over? Like all over. You're going to have to keep dipping it. So dip your brush again. Keep dipping it. Now we're going to pause while she's putting water on her paper. Okay, Penny has put her water on the paper. Now she's got purple and blue and green, and she's going to make one-third of the paper purple, one-third of the paper green, one-third of the paper blue, in any order you want to, up and down. So, like a third. So what color do you want at the top? I want the purple. Okay, what color do you want in the middle? Um, green. What color do you want at the bottom? Blue. <laughs> okay, so do the purple first. Dip it in water. Dip the paintbrush in water. Dip it in the purple paint. Now, just rub like single lines across the top. And that's kind of how it's supposed to look. And dip it and rub and dip it and rub. Now remember, we're not scrubbing like we're coloring with our paintbrush. We're painting with our paintbrush. Right? Mm hmm. We don't want to color with it because it's not a crayon. Nope. Mm-hmm. Got to pay attention to what we're doing, right? <laughs> yeah. But it's a painting, so it's so okay to have dry. a mistake. I'm just going to draw anyway. We can use that mistake to make it prettier. Now, you don't want to go over the same places too much because that will make your paper get nasty looking. So don't go over the same places. Move on down to the next spot. Okay. Should I be good? If you want it to be good. If that's all the purple you want. Okay, now rinse out the purple if you're done. Don't scrub your paintbrush. Okay. And then what color do you want next? Green. Okay. Dip it in the green. And start right next to the purple. And if it mixes, it's okay because it would just make it's a pretty color. It's supposed to mix. It's going to make a pretty color if it mix. Okay. Uh-uh. Just oh. keep dipping. There you go. Remember, we're not scrubbing, we're painting long stripes. Long stripes, not over the same spot. And the water we put on the paper before makes, makes it where it the fish makes it where the paint can mix Make together like it's supposed to. 
watercolor is supposed to mix together some. It's supposed to kind of run together. Now we don't want to go over the same spots. Over and over, you're going to mess up your paper. Mm -hmm. My line should be good. Well, that, the blue That's a blue. short line. Make long lines. Don't pick your paintbrush up. There you go. My arm is trying to hurt. No, it's okay. You'll be all right. Long lines. Don't pick your paintbrush up. Look at the water. It's starting to really show the yep. fish. And some places we get a little too much water in, in the same areas. And so it made our crayon go away. Like at the front of the fish. But you can see how the fish is showing up on the rest of it. Okay, should I like make a little bit of other colors on the bottom? However you want to do. Hmm. I'm going to do some green cause I, and some purple because that's a lot of blue. Okay. Uh, it's already turning blue. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to do purple, just like starting over. Okay. So John Cabot found a lot of fish. He found codfish specifically in his travels when he found, what did he think he found? Oh, wasn't it, um, it was like some kind of country. Mm-hmm. What country did he think he found? Uh, He thought he found China. And he actually found, is it North America? Yeah, he, he found North America instead of China. And he went south down the coast of North America. He went into Canada. And he went south down the coast because he thought he would get to Japan, which they called Sapanga. Sapanga. Because that's what Marco Polo called it. And he went as far south as what state? Uh. Do you remember? No. North Carolina. So we didn't exactly do one third of the paper each color. But we do have our fish. Yeah, at least it's just a fish a little bit. Mm -hmm, that's right. 